Hey guys, Wire here. Uh, we're going to be working on this Williams um, ratchet that I showcased last week uh, on, the, on those plier videos. Um, what I told you about this was only half the story. Um, like I said, I got this for 50 cents and the guy didn't have change for a dollar so he gave me this for the other 50 cents. And this is from Parker Tools and, we'll be going to, and we're going to be getting into this too. Um, probably the next week or two. So um, I thought I'd let you guys know, you know, that, that I, I did get something else that was relatively cheap. Um, so uh, let me get this all together and uh, we'll start taking this other one apart and we'll start cleaning it up. No, I got the gear out, the drive mechanism, and it came out pretty, this was pretty loose, so it came out pretty good. The only thing is, is I don't see any way this can come out other than uh, trying to punch this out. And I'm afraid if I punch it out, I might not be able to get it back in. So what we're going to do is, it's pretty hollow down in there. It's hard to see. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to soak this in some kerosene, try to get it cleaned up the best I can on the inside, and we'll polish this all up. So uh, let me get this into something, uh, find something I can soak this in, and um, we'll see if we can clean this up.
Okay, this is after wire wheeling, and I did cut those nicks out of there. And this has got a big X etched into here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out or not, but it's fine. I, I like I like my antique tools looking like they were used. And um, now they got it all cleaned out. Uh, this is called the Super Ratchet. The model number is an S51. And like I said, it says off and on. So you know which direction you're uh, taking the bolt off or putting it on. Drop Forge, J.H. Williams and Company patented. And it's got the Williams logo right here. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to um, bring out the um, uh, my um, grinder with the uh, fiber wheel on it and uh, try and get this all nice and uh, get some of the surface patina off of here. Anyway, let me get that set up and I'll be right back. Okay, all we got to do now is put some grease in there and get her back together and uh, see if she works. I'm using all purpose grease. This cleaned up really nice. Really wasn't that much wrong with it. I was already getting some of the rust off of it and polishing it up. Okay, let me just put this over here. So that a little bit more grease on it.
I think this is going to be the toughest part, getting this up. But it caught right away. Okay, that turned out really nice. I don't have any half inch sockets, so I can't test it out. It's still a little loose. Let me see if I can get this. don't have a spanner. I don't have a spanner wrench, so I'm not going to force it. Seems to be okay. So let me polish this up a little bit. And I'll be right back. Okay, it's all done. Turned out pretty nice. I did. I was able to get that a little tighter, so it's not moving back and forth. Sounds real good. I, I really like the way this says off and on. It really is. It, I think it's pretty neat. And I still think all ratchets should, should be that way. But like I said, I don't have any half inch sockets. So I can't test it, but I'm pretty sure it works. And uh, like I said, it, it's pretty good. I'm going to put this in with the rest of my socket sets in my tool chest here but I'm gonna have to get some half inch sockets anyway fellas uh I don't know what we're gonna do next um I don't know if we're gonna tackle this or not next time I'm hoping the uh, shed will get here within the next week or two they promised it to me three times but uh, we'll see anyway fellas we'll see what we'll get into next time uh, I'll catch you guys the next time if you like the uh the video give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later have a good one. Try to stay cool. This is Wire. See ya.